This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnston. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 106, baby. Oh yeah. And in today's episode, I speak to Boom Boom Cannon about nights out. In England, a night out is when you go out with your friends and you drink. Um, We tell a few stories about when we were young. Not stuff we're particularly proud of, but um, we're old enough now to kind of laugh about it. And that is exactly what we do, people. Um, All of the rock and roll vocabulary is on the website, rockandrollenglish.com. Go there, have a look at it, have fun with it. And there's a lot of it, really a lot today. Too much, really. It took me ages to sort everything out. So make the most of that vocabulary. Don't make all of my work go to nothing go there use it go free people anyway definitely going to stop talking now here is the episode happy listening boom boom cannon how are you today martin i'm good how are you always fantastic boom boom always fantastic did you uh, listen to last week's show with clarification charlie about how to be a real woman um I'm going to be honest, <laughs> haven't, haven't listened to it yet. Yet, sure, because you're definitely going to listen to it, aren't you? It's, it's on my to-do list. Sure. I, th- I was thinking, though, since you failed the real man test, you yeah. should listen to that podcast because maybe you could become a woman and there's some good tips in there. Yeah, I think I'd probably do quite well at the uh, the, the real woman test. I'm all woman. All woman. I'm proud. <laughs> oh sure. Well, you listen to that, and let's and you can tell us how it goes. Okay. Okay. okay we'll um, do. So, how do we normally start the show? Boom, boom. Review. Oh yeah, baby. Do you think we have a review? Yes. Oh, correct. Yeah. We do have one. We've got shitloads. Well, I say shitloads. We've got about three at the moment yeah, to read. That's so. probably on the border of shitloads. Shitloads. Yeah. yeah. Remember as yeah. well, shitloads means a lot. <laughs> Um, it's from Tony Shu. Again, pronunciation, always apologise. And it says, um, great podcast. Thank you so much for bringing us so much joy. The host, of course, Martin, is funny and humorous. Although I miss Dan the Man a lot, we all do. But it goes on and says, the new guests, Boom Ooh. Boom Cannon and Clarification Charlie, they are fantastic. <sighs> Got a mention there, Boom Boom. Nice to get a mention. That's a great review. Thanks very much. Well, it's not finished yet, so oh. you're sort of you're getting ahead of yourself there. Give give me more. <laughs> so when I say you're getting ahead of yourself, it means like you're moving too quickly, um, which Boom Boom's doing now. So let's go back to the review. And it says, I really appreciate the information you guys provide. Things, important stuff like how to be a real man, how to be a real woman. Don't worry about it, Tony, though. That's what we do. He says... Um, Keep up the great job, and most of all, keep on rocking. Tony from China. Oh, yeah, baby. Thanks, Tony. Much thanks, appreciated. Tony. Thanks, Tone. That's that's what we would call you in England, probably. So thanks, Tone. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tone. Thanks. Um, so, could, be, could be, obviously, can be a woman's name as well, Tony. Good point. Could be, good could point. Be a woman. Tony, Tony with a what? Is it Tony with a Y or Tony, Tony with, with a Y? Tony with a Y. With a Y. Probably a man, then. Probably a man. And I also saw a picture... And it was a man, so I'm okay, pretty sure we can okay. say Definitely it was a man. man. It's sure. normally it's normally a man, probably in, <laughs> normally a man, but uh, yeah, normally, you never Cheer, know. Cheers, tone. Cheers, tone. Um, so yesterday I had a night out. Boom, boom. So what does it mean? A night out. Night out. It means you were, you know, you're out uh, probably on the town having a few uh, alcoholic beverages. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, I say that actually. I actually stayed at home. In the okay. end, but I did have some alcoholic <laughs> beverages, okay, so, which for me now that's like a crazy night out. Okay, um, yeah. had a friend over, had some dinner, and got drunk. So that for me is a crazy night out now. Um, but I thought we could have a look at some other ways that we can have a great night out, okay? Okay, I like the sound of this. Oh, yeah, baby, we've had a few nights out in our time, haven't we? Boom, boom. We've had our fair share, Martin, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice there, <laughs> nice rock and roll vocabulary. We've had our fair share, we've had quite a few, some of which will be referenced in today's show, but. I don't want to spoil it for you, so let's start at the beginning. So the first one is don't keep track of the time when you're on a night out. Mm. And I'll be honest, there's been many times on nights out where I've looked at my watch and thought, 
oh, thank God, there's only one more hour left and then this bar closes and I can go home to bed. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. I've I've had a fair few of those kinds of nights as well. Yeah, yeah, that's how rock and roll we are. And then you you get out of the bar and someone says, "Oh, why don't we go back to Dave's house and carry on drinking?" And you think, "Oh, yeah, yeah. my my house is also good <laughs> for for me, and none yeah. of none of you can come." <laughs> yeah. I might just carry on the party at my house alone, <laughs> but believe me, I'm going to be drinking a lot. I'll probably yeah. drink down a bottle of vodka when I'm there yeah um, no it's down as well we've had that a couple of weeks ago and you drink it all in one go I think we were mm. talking about you downing pints actually weren't we boom boom yeah I think that was on the one of the real man uh, kind of tests wasn't it that I passed sure. with passed with flying colours exactly nice rock and roll vocabulary when you pass something well you pass it with flying colours um, so the next one for the great night out is don't expect it uh, because mm. there is nothing worse than organised fun is there when people saying like we're going to do this we're going to this just let it just go with the flow people very just true go go where that night moves you um and speaking of going with the flow once i did that with a friend of ours corporal coma actually who was obviously on the podcast fairly recently yeah. went out for a drink what happened next oh we only got a tattoo on our ass didn't we <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this was this was many, many years ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, many yeah. moons ago, you could many say, moons a long ago time was, ago. Yeah. But um, in fact, one of our other friends from school said to me fairly recently, do you still have that tattoo? And I said, well, I don't know if you know how tattoos work, <laughs> but they generally stay there for all of your life. So in answer to your question, yes, I still do have that tattoo. <laughs> yeah, I think you should, I don't know, is it possible to explain the, the kind of the, the popular the, the kind of the mix-up that sometimes happens with that tattoo yeah well, i think we've spoken about it before on a podcast okay. basically it looks like i have blowjob on my ass okay but mm. that's not the there's more to the story <laughs> but I, I haven't got time to go into that because we're providing some serious information here about how okay. to have a great night out yeah let's let's not get distracted by your blowjob tattoo exactly let's not get sidetracked is another so, word we exactly. could say um so another one is play some drinking games what do you think about mm. that boom boom um <laughs> you love drinking games yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know what sometimes sometimes they can work sometimes they can mm, work can they i i'm very much saying it's like the organized fun thing again i'm very much against um drinking games i remember once being in a bar actually i suppose it wasn't really a drinking game but like a friend of a friend were there, it was a big table of people. He downed a pint, very much like you, boom, boom. Mm. And then the waitresses were coming around selling pitchers of beer. So a pitcher of beer is like, I don't know, four or five pints, a yeah. lot of beer. And then he said, um, oh, all of these people on the table will pay for me to down this. And I remember thinking, will I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure I want to pay for you to down like four pints of beer? Had to do it because everyone else did it. So I had to pay £4 and watch someone down a pitcher of beer. And I thought, hmm, well, that was great, wasn't it? Yeah, £4 well spent, <laughs> by the sounds of it. Yeah. He did it, of course. He did. Then he went and was sick in the toilet. I thought, <laughs> oh, well, then, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, uh, I w- when I was uh, recently visited London and uh, I was with a friend, we went to watch some cricket very oh, English thing to do. Very rock and roll, yeah. Yeah, sure. and we were we, we we were sat next to another group of lads. This is a sort of Friday night cricket. Kind of gets quite uh, quite rowdy, quite alcoholic. Yeah, so and rowdy, sort of like quite noisy. People start going crazy at yeah. the cricket. Yeah, and the the lads next to us were playing a drinking game. I, I won't sort of. Uh, I won't go into the details of sort of a cricket based drinking game. Anyway, this resulted in one of the lads downing downing a pint. He then went straight off to the toilet. And filmed himself being sick down the toilet and then just sort of brought that video back to his mates, played it, and they all just were like, yeah, top lad. I mean, they were, you know, they, wow. they, they, were, top, England, they were top people. lads. Exactly. And this was cricket, you know. <laughs> supposed to be a gentleman's game. Cricket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, not for, not for me, not for me. Exactly, no. yeah. not for me. And boom, boom. We are way too civilized for that. <laughs> Although speaking of being civilized, the next one is very interesting, especially for you, boom, boom. Okay, so to have a great night out, it says get arrested. Ooh. And 
probably know where this one's going because I think I've mentioned it before, but we haven't really spoken about the story. Yeah. Boom Boom once, we were on a night out, New Year's Eve, I believe, 2004, 2005. And just after midnight, Boom Boom got yep. arrested, didn't you, Boom Boom? Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'll, I'll stop you now, Boom Boom. I tell you, <laughs> that was the best New Year's Eve of my life. What yeah. a great night that was. I, I, I think they should maybe reword that sort of the phrasing, the advice here, like for a great night, your mate should get arrested. Oh, I yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Everyone else had a great night. I I did not have a great night. Um, the great thing was, though, so Boom Boom got arrested just after midnight and was the first arrest of 2005, weren't you? Yeah. yeah what no, an honour. In, in, in sort of the whole of the... Uh, whole of the sort of the region yeah number one zero zero i was prisoner zero 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 one <laughs> prisoner <laughs> because he did actually spend the night locked up so when locked up you are in prison well i say in prison i don't think you were in a cell with like five or six other people were you someone else had like no. murdered someone and then <laughs> boom boom yeah. and i think punched a wall so similar crimes yeah just just got a bit drunk and uh, a bit carried away and uh but yeah i was on my i was on the, in the cell on my own uh just <laughs> just some good time to reflect on uh on my behaviour. Well, that's it. That's what the sort of criminal justice system does. So they send you to prison. You can think about your behaviour and then look at Boom Boom now. He's come out of prison. Much better man. Okay? Yeah. It can work. Uh, gone straight, as we say. <laughs> yeah, uh, gone straight means you don't go back to sort of criminality. Life, life of crime. Yeah, kept <laughs> kept my nose clean ever since. <laughs> oh, it's a real rock and roll vocabulary. <laughs> Keep your nose clean, like stay out of trouble. Yeah, um, this is all sort of prison terminology that I learned <laughs> during my uh, five or six hours inside. Uh, we also call, uh, which doing five or six hours uh, in prison, we often refer to as doing porridge. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I actually didn't know that one. Oh yeah, so. do, doing doing a bit of porridge is. Uh, <laughs> But you, obviously you haven't been inside, so I wouldn't expect you to know this, this kind of lingo. Uh, the great thing about this is while Boom Boom was inside reflecting on his life and stuff like this, the rest of us were still out having a great time and shouting things like free Boom Boom Cannon from prison. Every hour, I remember, we were doing shots and it was yeah. always, we were dedicating them to you, Boom Boom. <laughs> Um, we were even talking about getting some T-shirts made with your picture on saying free the boom boom cannon. Didn't work in the end, but um, that no. was No, well, I, I was, was freed, um, but no, not, not thanks to any T-shirts. But, but that, that is my kind of one, that's my main regret really from the night is that once I was uh, released, uh, I just felt very sorry for myself and went home uh, feeling, you know, feeling pretty hungover. But actually, it turned out because this was maybe I don't know five or six in the morning that you guys were all still in the pub. Oh, we were still out. We drinking. were still in the pub, and I, 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 I just assumed that you were, you know, you were back home in bed. So I, I didn't even ring anyone and say, you know, he's still, he's still up. And 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 that's really my regret. That I oh, sort believe of believe me. If you pub. had called us and if you had come to that pub, boom boom, oh. you would have received a hero's reception. Some nice third conditional there in the past. Um, but we thought you were going to be inside for like 20 years, though. We didn't realise <laughs> that you were coming out the next sure, day. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I probably did as well. But thankfully, thankfully, I, I got out. Yeah. Sure. Um, staying on the like crime subject, though, another thing, apparently, to have a great night out is someone needs to steal something. Um, which a few times I remember in the past, I stole the ketchup from a kebab shop which was uh, quite useful, actually, because the ketchup comes in, like, two-litre bottles. So the mm. next day, I've got two litres of ketchup at home. <laughs> Didn't need to go shopping again. It was fantastic. Very handy. <laughs> Very handy. Yeah, I also remember once you stole a phone. Um... Yeah, stole a phone <laughs> from a bar, and that was also a great time. So going back to Boom Boom's thing there where he said very handy, very useful. And phone could be useful as well. But um, I don't think yeah. I did use it. But it was the phone of the bar. I don't yeah. want to think I stole no. someone's like actual phone. Actual it was just phone. of the bar, you know. Yeah, I mean, uh, still, you know, 
still not maybe the best behaviour. But yeah, probably yeah, probably wasn't something I'm particularly proud of. Luckily, the police didn't get wind of that. So when I say they didn't get wind of it, they didn't find out. So I didn't. I didn't get locked up like Boom Boom, actually. No. I think you were a bad influence on me, Boom Boom, because Maybe. you know, you'd been inside and then yeah. I was out with you. I'm stealing stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's all your fault, Boom Boom. <laughs> and I think with the phone one, I distinctly remember saying to you, why are you doing this? This is pointless. And then you left the bar with the phone and then just threw it away. <laughs> Literally, you threw it as far as you could. <laughs> Which was about five metres. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I would like to um, add that, well, both of these stories, we, Boom Boom and I were both very young, okay? Now we're older than 30, okay? Yeah. And now a crazy night out for us involves having a friend around and drinking three beers. Definitely. Okay? Definitely. No stealing phones, no getting <laughs> locked up inside. Um, so the next one is to get into a fight. That's apparently... Oof something um, big to do on a night out boom boom often would like to sort of look like he was going to get into a fight but they never really actually do it no no never really but, just um, no i think best i get I, I definitely disagree with this point actually for for, yeah. for, for a great night out i'd say yeah don't 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 get, get in a into fight. a fight yeah it's not it's yeah. not the best um some people, though, definitely do go looking for it. I specifically remember once I'd been in the pub all day. I was somewhere else in the country. And for some reason, I'd lost my shoe. And then a friend decided to kick my shoe under a car, which was very nice, <laughs> to the exact point where I couldn't actually get the shoe. And I was trying to get it. And then some other gentleman, let's say, walked out of the pub. And I said, in a very polite way, excuse me, is this your car? And then the other guy said... Are you trying to start a fight with me? <laughs> and I remember thinking, how have you understood that? I've just asked you, is this your car? And now you're basi you basically want to have a fight with me. <laughs> so he said, are you trying to start a fight with me? And I just said, no, no, definitely not. Obvious, definitely. Obviously not. <laughs> obviously not. No, no. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's, that's not your, your typical way to start a fight, is it? Yeah, no, just exactly. ask someone if they've got a car. <laughs> exactly yeah um so another one here though is to um make sure you don't need to go to work the next day so you can have mm. a line so if you have a line it means you sleep i don't know till 11 o'clock let's say a bit longer than usual but sleeping after drinking is never really the best is it no no you don't you don't tend to get the best night's sleep yeah generally um, having to go to the toilet drink water i remember once again at university had a big night out woke up thinking oh my god i'm dying i need some water there was a glass of water next to me drank that oh it's vodka it's not water oh <laughs> nice and the, pa the party starts again <laughs> <laughs> very much so in my room I think I ran to the toilet to be sick, <laughs> but um, was still carrying oh, on the party. Yeah, that, that is horrible. That's yeah, horrible. Was, was not the best. And in my new house, I don't know if I've mentioned this on the normal podcast, definitely on the full volume podcast, I have church bells that start ringing at seven o'clock in the morning. So if I do decide to have a crazy night out, like last night where I stayed at home and had three <laughs> beers, those church bells are going to wake me up extremely early and believe it's very, very annoying. I'm actually thinking of like dressing up in black and at sort of three o'clock in the morning climbing onto the church with a hammer and smashing the bell <laughs> i I'd, I'd like to hear what happens if you try that um yeah like some kind of ninja just because i can definitely climb up that church yeah yeah i, I can see that going wrong in, in a number of ways um, yeah so yeah if you try that tell us tell us all, all right. about it Sure. Um, so another one is fall asleep in a random place. Have you ever done that? Boom, boom. Um, I, I did once um, kind of wake up. <laughs> is that the story? You, you once woke up? Yeah, that's it. End of the story. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, that sounds mental, that one. It's well, it a good this, one. This one time in my life yeah. I woke up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is crazy. What a night out that was. Generally, I try and do that every day. Actually, yeah, if, if it's, it's best if you can. It's yeah, if you if don't you wake up, there's a quite a big problem. There. Yeah. No, I, I, I woke up. Um, I basically came sort of to, uh, yeah, sort of, sort of came my, my sort of, uh, yeah, consciousness returned. I was in a toilet. I'd locked the, I'd shut the door. I'd locked the door. This is, I was on holiday, so I didn't sort of know the surroundings. And what didn't I'd know the toilet done, very well. It was a toilet you were not familiar with. Exactly. <laughs> and the mistake I'd made was that the, I'd, I'd shut the door 
uh, there were no windows in this toilet. It was pitch black. So I just <laughs> kind many, of... How many toilets do have windows so that you can look outside? Uh, I'd say quite a lot. <laughs> oh, actually, no, I suppose, yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. I was no, just I'd imagining people lot. looking through the windows whilst you're sitting on the toilet doing a shit. Yeah, bath, bath, bathroom windows, I'd say quite quite a few. Yeah, no, this, you're, this, you're this, right. was, this was a bathroom in it, like an, on, an ensuite. Uh, and anyway, it was pitch black. So I just kind of came to having had a you know heavy night drinking and just couldn't see a thing and kind of thought, what is, have I gone blind? <laughs> have I died? <laughs> have I died? Yeah. And I really panicked and then just had to kind of feel around the walls. Uh, until I well, felt, am I in prison again? What's yeah, going on? Exactly. <laughs> Shit, I'm back inside. I knew this would happen. Uh, in the end, it was just a toilet. It was just the a hotel toilet. room you were staying in. Yeah. <laughs> But for a few moments, there was some real panic there. Some real panic. Well, I'm happy to hear it ended um, nicely. Um, And speaking of endings, um, a way to end the night out, a classic way to round off the night. So again, that's just a way to say to finish the night is to get some food. Um, Generally, it happens quite a lot in England. People go and get some food from the kebab shop. Um, Not really the nicest things you see there, though, is it? No, they tend to be, uh, yeah, not the not the nicest places to to hang out at sort yeah. of two, three in the morning. Yeah, you get some drunk idiots like me stealing the ketchup, for exactly. example. Lots of fights breaking out there, so that's what we term we use for fights. They break out like start fights. Um, I remember once just sitting on a bench eating my chips, you know, <laughs> keeping myself to myself. A nice term there, like just happily alone, surrounded by a group of men. And then one person took my chips and then just put them all over me and said, what are you going to do? Wow. To which my response was, not a lot, really, because you're quite a lot bigger than me. So I think I'm just... Wow. That's... just going to stay here. That's terrible. I feel like we've painted a pretty terrible picture of nights out in, in England, haven't we? Uh, well, but that's we, a good... We've had some good ones. They, we've had their, they don't all end like this. Not so much anymore because, as I said, it's generally sort of going around someone's house now. But yeah. to make a quick comparison to Italy, sure. for example, about mm. getting food, here, it's at the end of the night, they just go and get a croissant, which Ooh. I always find a bit strange, really, because I need more food than that. I sort of compare it to in England where you get a £5 special, which involves a bit of pizza, a bit of chicken, a bit of sausage, a few <laughs> chips. <laughs> And you can sort of like bargain with the person there. So if you're five pounds special, you can like say how many chips you want. Come on, don't be so stingy with the chips. So if you're stingy, you're not generous. Had some great five pounds specials in my time. Yeah, but maybe perhaps you you sort of wake up feeling a bit better if you've just had a croissant rather than a five pound special. It, that's the thing about these getting some food in a five pound special. Yeah, you sort of do regret it the next day. <laughs> it doesn't really help with the hangover that much, actually. You sort of think, oh, this is great. The classic thing is I need to soak up the alcohol. So if you soak something up, it's like a sponge. So you think, well, I'll just eat everything I can and then yeah. it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, but it. I think uh, it, when it comes to a five pound special, that's that's kind of taking that, that kind of too far, isn't it? Exactly. You know, the the chips, bit. the chips will soak up the alcohol. The sausage, pizza, <laughs> kebab, is just uh, just unnecessary additions, really. So exactly. So anyway, I hope we've given you some great information um, about how to have a great night out. This is what people do in England. I'd imagine it might be different in your country. Let us know, though. Okay. Yeah, we've probably put you off ever going on a night out in England. <laughs> Um, but, exactly. But we, so when he says they put you off, like we've made you lose interest. Yeah, we we've picked out some of the more you know the more extreme examples, haven't we? You, you sure. don't always get chips poured over your head or get arrested. <laughs> you can just have a nice, nice night. Sure, exactly. <laughs> Although I would like to hear one day, um, boom boom, like maybe a diary from your time in prison. I think Oscar oh, yeah. Wilde wrote something about when he was in prison, like all of his thoughts. And maybe yeah. if you've got one of them, you could publish that. Yeah, um, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I think it's best I keep my thoughts from that time to my, to myself. So. Okay. Well, we'll we'll hope. I, I, anyway. I think my um, I'm, I don't think Oscar Wilde spent his time kind of crying and calling for his mum. So, <laughs> so that's that's the key difference between me and me and Oscar. <laughs> 
just a small difference. Just, just, a, small a, difference. just a small difference. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for your time, cool. Boom Boom. Thanks, mate. Cheers. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, so that was me speaking to Boom Boom Cannon about nights out, baby. Oh, yeah, so let's look at some of that rock and roll vocabulary. At the beginning, I said we have shitloads of reviews, so we have a lot of reviews. Um, I also said that he was getting ahead of himself because the review wasn't finished and he interrupted me. Um, So that's when you're sort of doing things too early, maybe in a football tournament very much I suppose like England if you get to the semi-final and people are thinking about the final you're getting ahead of yourself because you're not actually at or in the final yet um boom boom said that we've had our fair share of nights out so that's a sort of modest way to say a lot actually I've drank my fair share of beer in my time I suppose something like that I don't know um boom boom also said he passed the flying man test with flying colors it's a very colorful way to say that you did it very well passing a test at school you can pass it with flying colors very much what boom boom used to do actually with all the tests at school he used to pass them with flying colors um i don't know if you know by the way i'm just recording this without any windows closed i've got a new sort of habit of recording these podcasts i don't know why maybe it's because i don't like being hot anyway it's not really relevant so i'm going to stop talking about that now um i also said to boom boom many moons ago when i got a tattoo so that's a different way to say a long time ago again a more colorful poetic way many moons ago when i was a child stuff like this um we also had the term sidetracked when i said let's not get sidetracked with Uh, the story about the blowjob tattoo also what i was doing a minute ago getting sidetracked telling you about how i'm recording this it's not relevant so we were getting sidetracked and we had the term pitcher a picture of beer is like a big jug of beer that people like to drink and if lots of people are drinking that they will get rowdy that's what boom boom said happens at the cricket and then we had some sort of prison vocabulary when i said that boom boom was locked up so when you're locked up you go to prison but he said i've gone straight now if you've gone straight you've come out of prison and then you are not re-offending you know prison does work and then he also said that um he's kept his nose clean so if you keep your nose clean you stay out of trouble we also had the term handy when boom boom said it was handy stealing the ketchup so that's useful but i said luckily the police didn't get wind of that so they didn't find out about it maybe your parents get wind of something that you did i don't know we had the term have a lion so when you have a lion you sleep for a bit longer notice though have a lion not do or make anything like that um Boom Boom also said um, he came to when he woke up. So that's when you're usually unconscious. You come to and you regain consciousness. We had a term with fights. Fights, what do they do? Do they happen or they break out? A fight breaks out. Way to say it starts, basically. And we also had the term stingy when I said don't be stingy with the chips. So that's the opposite of generous. You can also be stingy with money. Um, And then we had a lovely term, which was round off, when um, we said getting some food is a classic way to round off the night, a way to finish the night. And that is a classic way, well, not a classic, a good way to round off this podcast, especially as there's a motorbike now making some noise. Um, Remember, all of the rock and roll vocabulary is on the website, rockandrollenglish.com. Go there, do the quiz, have fun, but most importantly, just keep on rocking, baby. Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.